Good morning. My name is Dana Chamberlain and I'm the General Manager of Jones Park View Funeral Services. On behalf of our team, I first want to thank you for the privilege it was to serve you and for entrusting your loved one and their final farewell to our care. Thank you. And today I welcome into this video recording of our Tree of Memory planting for 2020. This year would have been our 20th annual Tree of Memory ceremony and no one could have predicted the unprecedented times we find ourselves in. But not even COVID-19 will stop us from honoring your loved one and you with the planting of this memorial tree. It is our desire that we will have a combined Tree of Memory ceremony next year, right here in Crescent Park, in the heart of Moose Jaw. But for now, we plant this Tree of Memory, a Cascade Linden, in memory of your loved one and everyone we were so honored to serve from May 21st, 2019 to May 20th of 2020. It is our greatest hope that when you visit this park in the future, you will visit this tree of memory just south of the walking bridge in Crescent Park. Embrace it as a symbol of love and lasting legacy and a gift, and, gift of honor and remembrance from us to you. I wanna say a special thank you to the City of Moose Jaw's park gardener, Sarah Regent, for working with us on this memorial. And to Michelle Carlene for being willing to play the pipes for us today. And lastly, to Dave Beauclair of Beauclair Photography for videotaping for us. So you might view the planting and we deeply appreciate all three of you. My name is Della Ferguson and I'm a funeral celebrant and the grief support group facilitator with the Jones Park View team. Today we're not only planting a tree, we're charging this tree to be a tree of memory with a very high calling. From this day forward, this tree bears the memory, the love and the legacy of some very precious people. To imprint this tree in this way, we're placing the names of all we honour at the base of the tree before we plant it. The listing of these names can be found on the screen and in the memorial program that we have placed on our home page of our Jones Park View website. Each name on this list is profoundly meaningful. For each name represents a soul who touched the lives and the hearts of many people, including and especially you. Each name represents a life story of living and loving. Some lives that spanned more than a century and some lives that were profoundly brief. Each story is unique. Each person is priceless. As this tree grows, it is our desire that the deeper meaning and the message of your beloved's life will grow in you and transform your living. I wonder how you'll let your life be inspired by theirs. The root of the word inspire means to breathe in, to infuse into oneself. I can't think of a better symbol for inspiration than a tree because a tree literally exudes the oxygen we breathe. Today we plant this tree as an inspiration to help you in your journey of healing and coming home to yourself in a whole new way. May this tree inspire you with hope for your healing and your growth. Let's listen to Michelle Carlene as she pipes in memory of her great aunt, Gladys Taurus, while Sarah Regent of Moose Jaw Parks and Recreation plants the 2020 Tree of Memory.
Hi friends, my name is Kelly Scott and I'm a funeral director with Jones Parkview. Today, I impart these words of dedication and blessing. May this tree of memory farewell in this sacred place as it bears the high calling of being a living legacy. May these soils offer a solid foundation of strength and nurturance for its growth. And in the same way that you draw on the strong foundation of your beloved's legacy, offering you strength and nurturance for your growth. May the heavens rain showers upon this tree. And in the same way, may life shower you with blessings, ever reminding you that love reigns. May the winds that blow through this park only cause the roots of this tree to hold on more deeply to its foundation in the same way that you ground yourself in your roots in the midst of life's chaos. And may the sun shine upon this tree of memory with nurturing warmth and life-giving light in the same way that your loved one's memory brings warmth and light to your life. May this tree of memory grow tall and strong and flourish in its high calling. And may you stand taller and grow stronger and flourish in your beloved's memory. <clears throat> Hi friends, I'm Stephanie Lowe a funeral director with Jones Parkview Funeral Services. And today I share with you a poem that has become very popular with families we have served. This poem seems to offer them the deep sense of continued connection with their beloved that they so deserve. I hope it speaks to you. I heard, I heard your voice in the wind today, and I turned to see your face. The warmth of the wind caressed me as I stood silent, silently in place. I felt your touch in the sun today, as its warmth filled the sky, I closed my eyes for your embrace and my spirit soared high. I saw your eyes in the window pane as I watched the falling rain. It seemed as each raindrop fell, it quietly said your name. I held you close in my heart today, it made me feel complete. You may have died, but you are not gone. You will always be a part of me. As long as the sun shines, the wind blows, the rain falls, you will live in beside me of, of me forever for that is all my heart knows friends please know that you're in our hearts as you journey forward and while you take each step please be gentle and patient and kind to yourselves we close this tree of memory with this blessing for you written by John O'Donohue. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of the ancestors be yours. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you like an invisible cloak to mind your life peace and love to you. Take care.